Hi everyone, welcome to the WP Engine Guide by MRKWP. I'm Matt, the founder of MRKWP, and today I'm going to show you how to add a domain and how to set up the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate inside your WP Engine panel. We're not using the GES service for this one, so let's jump on in and show you how this works. So let's add a domain name to this website inside WP Engine. So first of all, go to Domains. And inside here, we need to add our domain. And we have this one here, Parks Golf Open. So we're going to say add domain, parksgolfopen.com.au. And we want to add that as well. Set that as the primary domain. Does this domain currently have live traffic? No, it doesn't. Brand new domain. And then we say point DNS. And we've got this A record, so we're going to use the A record method. So we're going to say here, A record, create new record. And we're going to copy that there and just paste it into the host there. Say add record like that. And then we're going to get add another record. And that's the www for that. And then we're going to go and create a record again for the second A record. And we're going to paste that there. And then we're going to say a record again, create new record, www, and add record. So now we've got a couple of entries. We've got the a records with two records for each item. And we've got the old a record there that we're going to have to remove. So you can see here that we've actually got extras. And that's because there was a parking page. So we can see the 141s. One These are the ones that I want. So I want to remove that one there, and I want to remove that one there. So now I've got two A records and two WW records, and that's all good. So I say, okay, I've done this. And now we go back to the domain name list. This is now propagating all of this information and it will wait for that DNS to be updated. And that takes a little while to be refreshed. Once it's refreshed, um, it'll go ahead and allow me to create the SSL. So now we can see after some time that the network is done. The DNS is all there and the SSL is there also. So when it comes to SSL, you can check on the SSL here um, and, and see that that's all there. So what we're gonna do beforehand is if I go to the domains and we take a look at this website. So we've got Parks Golf Open. So say parksgolfopen.com.au. Now we can see that the SSL is working. If that ever fails, you just go to the SSL area here and say get free certificates. And then inside of there, we can see that we want to secure all URLs like that. And then you just say get free certificates. This will then turn on that SSL. So what we're going to do as well is say that the WP admin and WP login can only take SSL. Save that. And this pet item down here that's currently doing the SSL ordering, that'll take a little while to come through. So it just says the SSL is in the process of being installed. Um, once that's completed, you'll see the status to being fulfilled and there'll be an expiration date there. This is using the let's encrypt method of encryption. Whereas over here, when we have SSL, what we have on this side is what we call Cloudflare SSL. So they're two different types of SSL certificates. I generally find that once the SSL is here for Cloudflare, you're pretty much good to go. Um, but if you do end up without that being ticked, go to that SSL area, order as I've just shown you in this video, and you'll be good to go. Well, I hope you liked that on how to add your domains inside WP Engine. If you want more tips about using the WP Engine console, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what it is that you'd like to understand. And of course, subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, and check the channel for more tips on WP Engine and WordPress.